For decades now, China's Communist Party has enforced strict birth limits on families. Only one child allowed, no more. Well, now the world's most populous country has pulled a 180. China is actually urging parents to have three children to counter an aging population and a shrinking workforce. But for many families, more kids is not an option. Here's NBC's Janice Mackey Frayer. With boxing lessons, then painting, and ping pong too, it's a juggling act for Lily Pung to keep her two kids busy. She had a second daughter when China relaxed its one-child policy five years ago. Now the government is urging parents to have three kids to counter an aging population. It's a good policy, but for myself, I'm 40 years old already. I don't have the energy. Would you have a third? No, no way, no way. Two is enough. <laughs> China added just 12 million babies last year, the lowest since 1979 when the one-child policy took effect. Repressive rules and a desire for sons erasing millions of girls from the population. Now with the workforce shrinking, they're trying to boost the birth rate. The Chinese state has already put forth a lot of policies. Is the state expecting a baby boom? The baby boom is not happening. The challenge, most couples don't want two or three children because of high living costs and competitive pressures. Like Jiwa or chicken parents, a new parenting culture here known for being obsessive, like scheduling their kids' days in 15-minute increments. That's a lot of pressure on a kid. The parents, they feel they don't have choice. They have to do it because everybody do it. It's given way to a multi-billion dollar shadow school industry here, where tutoring in math, English and sports begins as early as preschool and can cost a family half their income. When you force everybody to go through the same system, you have, again, wasted talent and unnecessary competition. In the end, you get greatly anxious parents and irrational behaviors. Fearing deeper inequality and parental burnout, when the Communist Party wants to see larger families, the government is cracking down, forcing the entire private education industry to go nonprofit. Public schools ordered to do more activities to ease pressure on China's kids so parents will have more of them. The government here is talking about ways to give breaks for families, like cash incentives or discounts on public transit for multiple children. The problem is most people think it just doesn't add up. They see larger families as a luxury that few can afford. For the news, I'm Janice Mackey-Frere.